a ridiculous name. All right, let's see. Are we live? It's working on it. <laughs> there we go. We are live. And alive. Coming to you from sunny Victorville, California. And presumably not sunny, Trimble, Missouri. <laughs> it was sunny today. The sun's down now, but it's still a little up for us. Just a little bit. It was like 75 degrees today. It is pitch black outside. What are you talking about? <laughs> Evidently, I don't know anything. Um, ooh, I'm going to sneeze. Okay, wait. Check this out, too. Oh, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i think that's also a rocket man thing what huh what i just sent it's the wasn't that like for the miss riley's the bell oh yes yeah grayson bauman bowman bauman says hi some stam Woo. starman says sup josh sickles says run that back one more time taylor what <laughs> <laughs> Why do people pay so much <laughs> for the uh, North Coast Bowmarks? <laughs> they're like, <laughs> who knows? They're like blow, uh, was it the blow molded plastic or whatever? On the oh, board. yeah. Joe Stephenson says, what's up, Stephenson? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I say it different every time, I think. <laughs> I thought it was Stephenson. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> wow, that's really super late. The soundboard today. Not a Macho Matt in sight. The hey, shame. We yeah, we tried. Him. He said yeah. he wasn't feeling it. Wasn't feeling it. Whatever that Stevenson. means. Stevenson. Stevenson. All right, I guess you were right. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the live stream, I'm about to pin a comment. We've decided, since it went so well last time, I'm going to throw you guys another discount code. But I have to look again and see what I made it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just made it tracking. Yes. All right. Do you like the word I used there, Shane? What? Use discount code tracking for 10% off any merchants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's also not feeling Taylor's Dr. Rocket case. Hello from Australia. What is up, Jeremy? Welcome to the live stream. Path Touch. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Bingus Bobby. I already read your who's comment, not, but thanks for being here. Who's not feeling my case? Matt. Matt. Oh, I the get one it. Who put yeah. it in the ground. <laughs> What's what? Well, he came up here to try to get the rally car working a week ago or something, and uh, I gave him his closure, and he's like, "Yeah, sorry, I don't, I don't have your case yet." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I wasn't really expecting an, an even handoff here at the moment, but. <laughs> do, you... <laughs> do you, uh, did giving you or giving him your closure give you closure? Yeah, I said, ball's in your court now, Mr. <laughs> Macho Matt. <laughs> Let's see what you got then, huh? Hello from Canada, Dylan Bender, welcome. Everybody could do me a favor, hit the like button on this bad B. Anybody else absolutely stoked for Starship's launch? When's that happening? It's like tonight. I'm not really a space guy. We know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you notice uh last I think Thursday. it was when Jesse was I think it was when Jesse was on the podcast, but he got 
all the I think it was the th- thumbs up or something. Something he did set off the oh yeah the thumbs up. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, because he was like back there, and then it did the Mac thing where it like pops up the thumbs up animation. Uh, yeah, I had to keep it together on that one. I didn't. Uh, Josh that. Sickles <laughs> says in your last podcast, Jesse forgot to mention the new club in Grand Junction, Colorado. There's a new club called Warp Core. That's also oh. the the genre of my new band. It's just starting out needs a high power site. So if anybody has any good leads, I actually talked to Eric Beavers today about that because he uh, Great Western Buildings is based in Grand Junction, and he has to drive pretty far to fly high power rockets. So if there was a club there, it'd be sick. And that's actually what ninety minutes or so from Green River, Utah, which is where Kip managed to get a waiver. that's like one hundred fifty thousand feet. Yeah, that's crazy. So look for big patches of BLM land out there. Because that would be super cool. Especially because you guys got that Colorado air. Man, if you guys got a waiver to like 150000 <laughs> you could be going buck wild. If that happens, that's where I'm flying my imaginary N1560 project. <laughs> Go like a hundred five thousand feet. <laughs> That's when Postart can do his N fifty eight hundred. You're gonna do it in fifty eight hundred. Yep, definitely. <laughs> he said he wants to. I do kind of want to. Oh, he thinks day. he can do it, huh? Yeah, don't they all? Don't they do, all? Do you see the video of the um O fifty five hundred at Argonia over the weekend? Yeah. It turned real hard. Yeah. There was still a good amount of burning left. Were you there? No. Oh. Thought about it. Should about it. Honestly. Yeah. Thought about All right, it. Let's take a look. About it. Take a look at some of these. I thought oh. you were pulling up the uh Honest John video for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's not showing it bigly this time. Seth Rogen opens up and. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was listening to the <laughs> Seth Rogen. Uh... <laughs> the Diary of a CEO podcast. It rips, dude. I'm trying to. What am I doing Make wrong? Make sure your here? porn doesn't pop up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, all my uh, the, what are they called? The, the bookmark bar. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I full screen this. Man, why is it doing this? How's it look on the live stream? There's no tag it's like, in it now. Well, I know, but it's like, it's not big. Is it look correct for you guys? Yeah, it it's looks big. Fine. It's big on the stream. Big news. Anyway, here you go. Here's the Nigel the Rocket Cat slides. Wow. If anybody's that interested. Good on there. I know, it worked out really good. So I wanted, wanted to uh, show off some, <laughs> some of the available <laughs> Nigel merch. <laughs> <laughs> the wall tapestry dude dude if so anyone weird. shows up with that <laughs> the 88 by 104 dude. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that actually kind of would be cool to have in the background oh here he goes <laughs> the nigel the rocket cat bomber jacket anybody <laughs> It's so sick, dude. <laughs> they are oh $70, God. but I'm pretty fond of the beer glass myself. Yeah. Imagine yeah, we good. when we do live streams from your house while we're working on rockets and stuff, we just have these kicking around. <laughs> With the huge tapestry in his garage. Yeah, and in the mornings, boom. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you can see it right up here. Use discount code tracking for 10% off your entire order, no matter how much your stuff whole, you buy. Whole um, merches. Yeah, your whole merches. And uh, I'm going to delete that after this live stream. So Are those socks? Yeah, dude. 
Nigel the Rocket Cat socks, as a matter of fact. <laughs> what's the what's the net one next to it, the teal thing? That is a sticker. Oh. For only fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so expensive? <laughs> because it just kind of has to be. The problem is if I set the prices like the profit margin low on something else, then somebody uses a discount code, I go negative and have to pay for people to have them. <laughs> which really kind of works against us. Yeah, the cat feeding mat. The cat go. mat. <laughs> Look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> and let's see. Dude, Dude the Sam hoodie. Said this, Sam said this was the only Rocket merch she would consider buying. <laughs> she doesn't want an okay. APCP shirt. <laughs> I guess I yeah, I guess it won't get you the APCP shirt for your birthday. <laughs> I definitely think you should. <laughs> Just as long as it's supplemented with something else. You could be the fun boyfriend that buys like a carton of eggs for, <laughs> for the birthday. <laughs> Dude, the hoodie's too fresh, honestly. It's pretty good. Dude, as soon as David McCall saw the merch, he called me. And he's like, merch, huh? He's like, <laughs> how, how long? <laughs> he's like, how long till you, till you guys get called by the Gravity Group? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, never. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I like, bought my luckily, socks today. we're on hey. different sides of the... I, there's not a lot of crossover between those worlds, except us particularly. <laughs> right, yeah. We are the, like, four people. So, um, as long as Matt isn't sending it to people at, at the Gravity Group, I think we're good. <laughs> I also think... I like to think that they're pretty relaxed people over there, and uh, they're going to see the comedic value in it. Um, also see that there's no way that we're making enough money for them to waste their time with such action. Yeah, it's clearly just for us. <laughs> it wasn't even ever supposed to evolve to what it has. It was just like, wouldn't it be funny if we had a <laughs> banner that said the anti-gravity group? Yeah, well, then people started taking it seriously and we're like well i guess this is what it is i guess from outside context though it's not like anybody would have just gathered that like these guys showed up with a giant rocket and they're all wearing shirts that say the same thing <laughs> it doesn't really just seem like kind of a backhanded joke especially because like we said we're the only four people that know what the gravity group is so nobody's going to see that and go, oh, that's clever. They're going to be like, yeah, but I don't think we were calling ourselves the anti-gravity group. We just kind of had the logo. Yeah. The banner. Yeah. We didn't really adopt it. If it's really until the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. You see, even with the Argus, it was still like, Postard's now an official member of the anti-gravity group. Like, it was a hilarious <laughs> meme. <laughs> um well, that... we still got 20 viewers so if anybody wants to throw us some questions uh let us know also just one more reminder here for people that are new use that discount code tracking for 10 percent off your entire merchants from rocketvlogs.com <laughs> that discount code is going to disappear after the stream Nigel Cat, Nigel Cat, what <laughs> are they feeding you? <laughs> Nigel Cat, Nigel Cat. It's kind of your fault, I'll be honest. All right, I think they get it on the merch thing. Are you all coming to NSL West? Everybody except Matt. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know that we're flying the Punisher six times that weekend, dude. 
Dude, Matt needs... Did he say he was for sure not going to come? No, I guess that's... It's really... I guess it's not that far for you guys, huh? How far is it? Uh, Eight hours? I think it's like 10. Oh, yeah. So it's not that much better than us, I guess. How far is it for you? Like 15. So this is... This is probably as close as it gets for meeting halfway. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I can't yeah, wait I for know. you to for sure come to balls so that we can for sure fly our two stage. <laughs> <laughs> it I just found out I have to go to a wedding the week before. Before balls or alamosa? Balls. Balls. Dude, we should uh <laughs> We should probably book a hotel for NSL. Oh, S and P, you're right. <laughs> oh, it's thirteen hours. Yeah, that is almost right up the middle. Yeah, I think it's eleven for me, because it's like ten to Denver. Denver, they call it. Oh, Shane, we can go through Gallup, New Mexico, where I stayed when I had COVID. And we can get Dave's lot of burger, have ourselves a cheese banger. With some Perfect. chilies on it. <laughs> Shane's favorite food, as people yeah. I'm sure are aware. What is his favorite food? Cheeseburgers? Cheeseburgers with peppers. Yeah. Oh. Cheesebangers. Route may be affected by winter storm morning. Is it snowing somewhere in Colorado? Probably. Yeah, they're, it's, they're supposed to get like a foot of snow over the next few days. Really? Yeah. Wow. Somebody at work was talking about that, and I was like, yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be like 72 this weekend. I'm going camping in Las Vegas. Yeah, it's 11 hours on the dot for me. I'm on the dot? I guess I'm going to take the professional masterpiece. I don't really know how I'm going to get there right now, but... That seems crazy. <laughs> what, from a fuel standpoint, or...? Yeah. 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 Well, my other option is renting a car. Thank you, Daniel. I fly with <laughs> all the time. <laughs> you bob on the other end of the camera. Well, you don't have to okay, all right. All right. Excellent, excellent. Supposed to storm through Thursday. It's always snowing and sunny in Colorado. True. Who's voting for Bryce for Tripoli Board of Directors? Honest John, uh, as is tradition. Yes, sir. What were you going to say, Taylor? I don't know. Are you frozen or are you just... Oh, okay. It's frozen for us. <laughs> so I was like, how are you not uh, moving? That's crazy. Bingus Bobby, what size shoot do you use in the Nike Smoke? Um, I haven't put a shoot in it yet, but I'm toying with... I'll probably put a... I think I have a 24-inch recon or something, so I'll just use that. What's everybody waiting for in their Wildman Black Friday shipments? I think I've forgotten what I ordered but it was a lot of propellant. That's your problem. When you order the propellant on the Black Saturday order, you are waiting on Aerotech. Um, I'm, I, I didn't I order gonna... anything. I lost yeah, my job. Me neither. I said I was going to pick up my order in Argonia next weekend, so hopefully it'll be there. <laughs> it was last year. It was. And I ordered significantly less this time, so... How many in 2000s did you order this year? Zero. What? Dude, come on. Dude, you it was scared? comical. They kept pulling boxes out for us. <laughs> yeah, it was insane. Yeah. Well, they all had my name on it, so it looked like I was balling hard. I'm like, no, it's all <laughs> of us. It's really ridiculous, too, to just be like, yeah, we're picking up the order. And there was <laughs> like six M's and yeah. two N2000s. It was like 10 grand worth of stuff. Like, Thanks, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> people are like whoa still waiting for my little yeah. three motor ship hopefully it gets there before april yeah, what motor was it know. um yeah we need to convince matt to go to um nsl and build his own minimum diameter rocket Okay. M1350 like a... DMS. Oh. The single use M1297. 
I want there could be a delay on the DMS, the big DMS stuff. Like they don't have the motor cases right now or something. Just speculation. I don't have any ins- insider information, but that sounds like something that would happen. I do have some insider information on oh. that, kinda. Um, <laughs> but I'm probably not supposed to say it out loud. So okay, I don't know anything. <laughs> It's just that just I found case. out <laughs> I found out who their supplier for those is. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, any other questions? <laughs> How about that Nigel the Rocket Cat merch, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I'm drinking my water super loudly. So I'm gonna Is that your spicy back. water? Yeah, <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm back here now. How's that audio sound? Great. Bad. Which is it? Both. It does not feel like it's 8 p.m. I feel like it's like 2 in the afternoon. Also, Dude. for some reason in my head, it's still light outside. It's not. I checked. <laughs> <laughs> People that so to stream gang gang about the springtime change just don't get it. You know? It, I love it. I just wanted to stay like this all the time, though. Yeah, I know. It's so much better. I like the sun going down at 9 p.m. Yeah. In the summer. How is the tolerance of your 2.6 Nike smoke centering rings? Mine were way too big, so they just slid down the motor tube. <laughs> I had the exact same ones. I, <laughs> cut, I had to cut new ones out of plywood because they were so bad really yeah i wonder if they made them for regular tube and then sent thin wall that uh it was clearly a mismatch of of parts bin stuff so yeah it uh, has to be something like that huh just reading comments oh you think they were old old centering rings for previous manufacturers tubes and you got the, the tin thing tubes. Is the, the thing is, the motor tube was not a tin tube. Oh. It with any luck, glass. I'm doing a three inch M to L with Wildman class. Any suggestions to recover successfully with a parachute? Well, you've got oh. the with a parachute part. Yeah, using a parachute is a good, <laughs> it's yeah. a good start. Um, uh, I mean, weighs it minimum diameter or. I got a composite warehouse motor tube for my Nike smoke. Don't want to hurry it. Yeah, I mean, it's just standard dual deploy setup, unless you're talking about the booster, in which that case you're still going to have to use electronics. Bottom stage is minimum, so probably 3 to 3 with the 54L? Is that what we're talking about here? Mm, An M1352 and L1000? Um, it's probably gonna go pretty high. I'm I can't think of what it, that altitude would be. Yeah, ish. Dude, should we uh send the link out for guests again? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was a little chaotic, but yeah. it could be fun. We got almost thirty people here now. I just don't like how they just bust in. <laughs> yeah well that, <laughs> we that only happened it only happened on the second one where the it, it didn't even like alert me that somebody was waiting it's just like boop and i was like oh hello <laughs> that has to be like a setting or something right that was really off-putting to just have someone bust it in like that i had oh. it i had it set to where it specifically was supposed to ask me 
and that's how it's set up here but we're doing it all right i'm dropping the link if somebody wants to join us for uh ask us a question then please do so on cosmic brownies is that like the least food thing that exists (laughs) <laughs> but they're so good. They're so good. <laughs> Where did this question come from? But yeah, they know, are just, amazing. They're incredible. Random thought that popped in my head. And what is the candy that's sitting on top of it? That's not a candy you can <laughs> buy. The cosmic else. part. That's what makes it yeah, cosmic. But... The cosmic rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm dropping the link. If you want to ask us a question, come join us. But please, just tell us uh... what your favorite little Debbie snack is. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind that. Uh, we're we're going to politely ask you to leave after a couple of minutes because it got a little crazy last time. <laughs> yeah, we need. Like, it was a so t- funny need- how they were. The dude just came in and asked Joe a question, <laughs> so we were just like, <laughs> "Go yeah. on." It was the easiest job we've had of hosting a live stream. We didn't have to say anything. If we have Zebra guests, chance. we should have like a timer in the background, like. Just have it run in, like just so you know, when this runs, your your yours boot get it booted. At you get two minutes on the stage, dude. <laughs> it would be really funny actually is if we did like while we're at your house, we'll do one where we give each person a prompt, and then you get two minutes to answer the prompt. So we're like, you have five hundred dollars, you need a rocket to go forty thousand feet. Tell us what you're doing. You get two minutes. Oh, that'd be and then cool. then we just judge you. And it'll be great because we'll be on your internet, so it'll work just fine. Mm. <laughs> we could get, we could go to Sam's house and use her internet. Oh yeah, true. Um, I've shared the link. Let me know anybody if you're trying to get in because the last time we tried this, somebody was trying and it just didn't notify me at all. So. The have rock- you tried I the did. rocket oreo i did no. and i thought they were just cool colored oreos and i didn't read the package and i put one in my mouth they and was really rocks. freaked out yeah, yeah they they pop rocks rocks in them. <laughs> i got really scared and threw them away because i didn't know what to do about it <laughs> they were good but to be honest i did not like the pop rocks in my oreos it was two things that i like not mixing properly i don't want my oreos to pop <laughs> garage man kid says el grito from minneapolis <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome zebra <laughs> zebra cakes on top that's a crazy dude, take dude i have never had one you're gonna put those over nutty bars mate I mean, zebra cakes Maybe were like something cool crazy. when I would go over to my friend's house, but I didn't actually want them. They weren't top tier. <laughs> <laughs> I like a good Star Crunch cosmic brownie. Star Crunch. That's an interesting one, too. You ever had a Star Crunch? No. Uh-uh. They're like... Um, crisp rice held together with caramel and uh ish stuff dipped in chocolate you're just doing a lot of dollar uh family dollar dollar general (laughs) shopping whatever the hell that place is called i haven't but that's what i had growing up my mom would just buy all that junk food and we would just get fat yeah well tell me about it um (laughs) in hindsight you're like oh well we didn't have a lot of good options for eating there. It was tasty. Yeah, though. all I do is eat a whole bag of popcorn and drink four Pepsis after school. So <laughs> it all really started to make sense. You had a bag of popcorn every day? <laughs> no, not every day, but like just pretty frequently. That was like the snack of choice. Or just like a bunch of chips and cookies and stuff. <laughs> Is that from Rhett and Link? No, that's Giant Debra. Oh, yeah. oh, Giant Debra. <laughs> <laughs> they really jumped the shark with cookies and cream Oreos. <laughs> you, dude. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> You're making Oreo flavored Oreos. This is all gone to hell. There's going to be a black hole ripping open. <laughs> I didn't know that was even a thing. That's dumb. <laughs> I didn't either. Fudge rounds overrated. Uh, I gotta try so hard not to make an Oliver Anthony joke right there. 
They just want to be a sugar cookie, but they make your mouth feel weird. <laughs> Dude, this is the best live stream we've ever done. <laughs> What so about good. Sour Patch Kids? How they burn the roof of your mouth, dude? That's not dude, nice. I love it. Dude, I, it's so I good. love sour candy. I had to give them up because I just ruined my teeth with it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that the sour stuff makes your enamel soft. And so I ate a bunch of sour candy and then went to bed like an hour later and brushed my teeth. <laughs> and it your totally like destroyed clay. the n- enamel on my teeth. So now I have a sensitive spot from eating Sour Patch Kids at 11 o'clock. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. How old are you? <laughs> Just Breaking pounding those sour candy before adult going to bed. Teeth. <laughs> I, all my teeth grew in. Time to eat a bunch of candy. Get a nice How glaze on there Wednesday. before bed. <laughs> Well, that's why I wanted to brush my teeth to get all the sugar out. I didn't know it was going to soften my teeth. <laughs> Just like blasting your teeth like sandpaper. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. Yeah, I uh, we had a lot of woefully unnecessary snacks. That I mean, my it's still how my parents' house is, but somehow the rest of my siblings kind of avoided the just pounding <laughs> all of the food situation man <laughs> put down many a sleeves of uh chips ahoy when they used to come in a sleeve oh yeah ritz crackers dude and the oreos with the glass of milk i started grabbing one extra one so i could de- <laughs> deposit it into my <laughs> glass of milk and then have a nice cookies and cream ball of sludge after wait, wait, i drank wait. the milk <laughs> wait did you ever have the straws that were like had the little tiny balls in them that were made to like flavor the no. milk as you drink it that's a Grandma young people thing, thing dude. yeah that weird <laughs> that's, that's we, the, the, back in my the, day we just had normal snacks we didn't have these snack flavored other snacks <laughs> <laughs> we i think the the only straw thing we had was the, uh, I think they had just came out with the cereal straws. Yeah. The Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal bars, I always wanted those. but Dude, those are so good. Also, the Golden Grahams bar. We, we were never allowed to have them. We were strictly on a budget. We only got Malto Meal cereal, which I'm going to say it. I'm going to stand by this. <laughs> It's better <laughs> than the same brand ones. Now it's not even really cheaper to get the bag cereal. No, but that's that's what but, all it was all of our lives. Remember too. when? It, remember when they segregated it to the bottom shelf? That used to be the thing. They'd have the commercial where you were squatting down through the yeah. aisle. Yeah, <laughs> and it was worth it, dude. When you have Malto meals, knockoff fruity pebbles, and Fruit Loops, they taste different. All right, <laughs> <laughs> they do. My mom. I used mean, to between tell me each other. From- my mom used to try to tell me they came from the same factory, and I knew that was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying it, mom. I'm not buying it. I've had it's like those I... frosted flakes just aren't frosted with the same stuff. <laughs> the flakes may be similar, but what? Oh yeah, Hydrox cookies. That's oh, uh, those are the, that? the predate the Oreos. They're like yeah. Oreos ripped them off, and then they went out of business. I heard about this on the Office Ladies podcast, of all things. I Listen, <laughs> if I had to guess what might have done them in, it's the name. Because the first thing I think of is, like, hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or hydroxycut. You remember that, like, early 2000s yeah. weight mm-hmm. loss supplement? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not it with the naming scheme. Or... um. Oh, wait, you didn't have name brand cereal. No. Nope. I was going to say, <laughs> oh, I was going to say <laughs> Oreo it, O's. It's saying one in audience. Is there someone trying to join? Where's it say that? Like, if you click on people. Oh, yeah, I think that does mean somebody's trying to join, but it used, like, last time it popped up, somebody's name showed up. Um, so if, you're the, chilling. if you're the person in the audience, uh try leaving and coming back we'll see if that works have you tried unplugging it and plugging it back in? <laughs> oh. 
As a kid, the name was very off putting. Yeah, as you can see. I love how this this whole live stream has now become devoted to snacks. <laughs> Brayden, check the <laughs> chat. I'm here. Let me in. All right. Well, oh, we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> How is he in the chat and not? Uh, Yeah, I don't don't know. I really don't understand this. Let me see if I go back here. Corey, if you want to try leaving and coming back again, (laughs) we'll give that a shot, I guess. How can there be someone in the audience? Doesn't even make sense. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's the like how it works. The audience call in thing. Oh. Hmm. Cause that's how it worked last time. Getting ready to build my Cherokee Mini, going to bring it to NSL. Build tips and most just to get a little crazy. I two hundred. Uh and big big fillets because those fins are gonna wanna get wobbly <laughs> with it. Oh, yeah. it's since we're um <laughs> I don't wanna see it's really just further the stereotype that all these people think we're loaded. Since we're flying the way that we're flying, um we get <laughs> luggage accoutrement. Is that the right word? Are you gonna I'm, bring a rocket? I'm no. I was I was gonna say I'll bring your and Matt's uh, rockets. I'm gonna see if I can get your case in my suitcase as well. Oh, see if you can't catch a case real quick. <laughs> Twenty nine people. Hey, what's up, everybody? Press the like button. Do us a favor, huh? Also, I'm going to run it back since there's new people. Use the code tracking for 10% off any merchase at rocketvlogs.com. I'm back. Okay, this is not... This isn't working. There's got to be a setting that's... How did we do... Yeah, I don't... What did you do last time? Wait. Okay. We're going to try this one more time. Corey, if you could leave again, I'm going to put a new link. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to try this one more time. Okay, the new link is in the in the chat now or the, the stream. <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> what a nightmare. Uh this is basically what I've done now is I've just set it up to where people have to be approved to be let in. Um and that somehow I've already lost that setting. So that's okay, I found it. I found it. We're good. Right. <laughs> so hopefully it will just now alert me that somebody is trying to come in. This is chaotic, dude. Why did it work yeah. last time? I don't People know. were just flying in here. <laughs> <laughs> now we can't even manually get someone in here. Riverside is lame. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a, it's it, it what the things that work well work really well. And then every once in a while, there's just something I'm like, well, this is dumb. I have to say, their customer support's really good, though. Only JB. Uh, have you guys built the lock? Mini mag. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the live stream. Woo! Yeah. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? I, it was oh, worth no. downloading the app after all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I always forget about that with the phone. It has to, somebody has to get the app. That was fun trying to integrate that to the Tim podcast while we were yeah. live. <laughs> Dude, that that podcast was a nightmare because Tim left and came back. So there was like 15 different tracks. It took me like nine hours to edit that. And I was like, well, I said I'd put it out the next day. So I was up to like three in the morning. Anyway, how are you doing, Corey? <laughs> awesome. I just wanted to say oatmeal cream pies and Swiss cake rolls for the win. Okay. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, Swiss oatmeal rolls. cream. Yeah. Yeah, it's fair. that's a good call. Also, I love that's your really... video. Oh, <laughs> that's, all that's all you wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see you. Oh, your video that 05500 shred was sick. Yeah. And yeah. It turned real hard. 
Well, and it, it looks like it wasn't actually the fin can that, that what let them down. It looks like it folded between the connection of the top of the motor and the aero pack. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, they've, they've got a few frames of video that make them think that their composite fin can actually stood up to the 05500, which I, I had bet money on 1.7 seconds, but they, they surpassed that. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, like, how hard people have gotten just regular fin cans. Like, the aluminum stuff is, like, a, a thing of the past at this point. I mean, I kind of, like, really got into the concept after – Manny and Steve did that Mach 5 flight at Balls a couple of years ago without their nose cone looked like somebody sat there and unwound it strand by strand, but their fins were still attached with just fillets, no tip to tip or anything. I was yeah. like, all right, yeah, well, it, it is a me a problem. Surprise. Yeah, so. yeah, I'm just not as good as they are at it. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now I've got my M1675 project to so far i've gone i think what did the k455 do like mach 1.7 i was pretty happy with that but i was pretty confident in it too those fillets were huge but i'm a little nervous on the m because that's gonna be decently in the mach 2 range <laughs> and then you know we've got an n after that so hey, Corey, what was on? that what was that two stage uh over the weekend that was that was k-state they were they had actually submitted a new design they had 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 whatever reason and so they were they were testing their new design and as you heard if you watch the video they were pretty pumped that it, it yeah, did what, they, it was, what it was supposed to do i've yeah. never heard such an explosion of excitement <laughs> yeah, yeah they've, they've worked hard at it they've put in a lot of effort and and they've, they've got a good competition rocket together now so that was their argonia cup design well, yeah, I mean, I guess that's probably pretty public at this point. But yeah, that was that was the one that they're they're planning to fly for sure. Oh, that reminds me. I guess we can officially state uh because we didn't really know up to this point. But Postard and I are going to be at the Argonia Cup. Woo-hoo. I'm super <laughs> excited. Hopefully the weather's as good as it was last year cuz that was crazy. Well, you're yeah. not supposed to talk Maybe. about it. You, you've you just jinxed it now. Thanks. Uh, well, actually, I kind of hope it's bad. I hope there's a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to say that either. <laughs> uh, My three and a half minutes is up. I, I heard what you said about guests. And so. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for being here. Any last message for the people? Uh, this podcast is awesome. Thank you guys for what you do, and, and thanks for letting me join for a minute. Yeah, man. Take, also, awesome. thank you for being the star of our uh, takeoff and or landing cam footage. A- anytime. Oh, yeah. I'll just <laughs> put plenty of batteries, and I'll talk to them anytime. <laughs> All right, man. Take it easy. See you. Thanks, guys. All right. We now have a working system. We know for sure. So if anybody else wants to jump in and be a guest for a little bit ask us a question tell us your favorite little debbie snacks or whatever <laughs> <laughs> what's a not little debbie the like the opposing oh i guess it'd just be hostess i don't know i was more of a well i was a, a big zinger guy i like yeah. to sing so, remember so the original Zandy zingers zingly. were the the strawberry <laughs> ones or whatever yeah you said you like to zing i said zambizingly yeah. yes sir whoa man where's matt when you need him <laughs> all right what'd you say Taylor? <laughs> the og zingers just came they were like the red the red ones the like uh with the coconut on the outside those are called snowballs, aren't they? Well, those are the marshmallow ones. The zingers were like, they look like a Twinkie, but it's like red, strawberry uh, or whatever. Like red I like. No. Mm, I'm all about the ones with the vanilla, the Donald Trump hair. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they came out with those kind, yeah. and those were bangers. They are zingers for life, baby. <laughs> I liked... Uh, so my when I was really young, my mom worked at a um, it was Dolly Madison, it was basically like a hostess, like store. bakery outlet. Yeah, yeah, essentially. 
they call it we call it the bread store <laughs> like they had wonder bread and shit there so oh i did it this again is such a little <laughs> kid wait a second that's i have so many things that were like that with my siblings where we could what? say something and people would know exactly what we were talking about it only them the bread store oh <laughs> that's what my mom called it oh yeah i'm mm. going into the bread store <laughs> i'm trying but anyway to uh, oh my so aunt just... used to call the dollar store hell in a hand basket <laughs> I, I didn't know that was not what it was actually called till i was probably like five <laughs> once it once the stuff in the store got past the uh, sell by date or whatever, it was trash. So my mom would just bring home giant <laughs> baskets full of just sacks of garbage food, just <laughs> the worst hostess stuff. So we're just pounding ho hos and ding dongs, <laughs> zingers. Dude, that that last sentence sounded like Doctor Zeus wrote it. We were just <laughs> pounding ho hos and ding dongs and zingers, dude. Ding dongs go pretty hard. Yeah. Ding dongs yeah, rip. Do. Favorite candy. Mine's good and plenty. That is the hottest take of the century. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing beats it in suspicious way to see a rocket Kato's <laughs> than the tar of black. Oh man. <laughs> I don't do this. I I like really bland things for some reason. Like I like unfrosted flakes. Probably my favorite cereal is raisin bran. So Wait, it's uh, unfrosted flakes. Those are just corn flakes. Yeah, yeah. corn flakes. <laughs> Cheerios, not honey nut, not honey just nut. Just the plain nut. one. Just, yeah, dude, dude. they suck. Cheerios with no nut. Yeah, and sometimes Aww. I'll sometimes I'll just chop up a box of cardboard, throw it in some milk, call it good. <laughs> John Whitewater says I'm late, but I'm here. Nice to see you. I don't know. So my candy tastes are a little. All over the place. So candy, does that mean that's different from like candy bars? I'm yeah, I'm gonna exclude chocolate for this particular Just one. Just straight up like can, like what I buy <laughs> on vacation to eat in the hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just bags of candy. <laughs> <laughs> It, um, you always like it surprises me. We'll be grabbing something. You're just like, I kind of need a king size butterfinger right now, I think. <laughs> My favorite is when we just like all egg each other on and we just pound a whole pint of ice cream while we're at your house. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird that's a weird <laughs> thing to do. I think the most chaotic one was where Shane ate a whole box of Uncrustables. Oh my god. Then had ice cream and then the next night we had cinnamon rolls. <laughs> What is wrong Dude, with that? Just seeing the giant box of Uncrustables and then as we're like six white claws in, just realizing <laughs> the amount of sugar he'd eaten in like four hours. Skittles and peanut M&M's. Ooh, I hadn't considered the M&M's angle. I'm peanut going peanut M&M's butter are so M&M's. good. Peanut M&M's and peanut butter M&M's. That's a regular oh, Tuesday for Shane. The whole box of Uncrustables. <laughs> <laughs> and a half pound of green beans. Yeah. That reminds me, you, you gotta get... order pizza. What do you mean? Just buy one, get one free large pizzas from Pizza Hut right now because it's almost pie day. Oh, I thought it didn't start until tomorrow. No, it's today, tomorrow, and whatever the oh. day after that is Friday, <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. Um, oh, dude, I don't, uh, picking my favorite candy is too difficult. I'm really not like huge on candy that. <laughs> isn't chocolate uh <laughs> big chocolate guy yeah i'm 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 trying to think i buy the stuff right i'm blanking yeah this You're is going difficult Butterfingers, for no reason i know it well no because that's chocolate that's chocolate yeah what Alex? butterfingers the brown stuff yeah. that's covering it's a the candy whole thing? bar <laughs> <laughs> what do you Have think you the brown one? stuff is <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm forgetting what they look like. Yellow wrapper. He used to take <laughs> looks like a candy yeah. bar. <laughs> We're getting family insights on Pop Tart. He used to take a oh, box of Uncrustables or a box of Pop Tarts as his meal for work. 
His cholesterol has to be absolutely <laughs> stellar. <laughs> the green beans probably neutralize it. It was probably it was good. Really called for. It. <laughs> My God. Oh, did you see how cheap the Pop Tarts were at Aldi? I'm a huge Aldi fan now. No, I didn't look. Also, you can use Why, guitar they picks. Pop Tarts there and not. Yeah, and they're cheap. Top Everything's parts. cheap, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> it's amazing. Um... And if you can put a guitar pick in the cart instead of a quarter, it'll work. You got to get the right thickness, though. The Guitar Center ones are the right thickness, if anybody's curious. Pro tips from the Rocky Vlogs live stream. <laughs> There's still 26 people here listening to us talk about candy and chocolate and all the grocery shopping. These are the <laughs> realest people out here, dude. <laughs> dude, I, the little Debbie conversation kind of popped off, I won't lie. I love all. I love all. Rob gets it. <laughs> Rob gets it. They're like rockets. Ah, Ooh, candy red and licorice. Jump Twizzlers. Jump Twizzlers might be up there for me, dude. When I was a kid, I, we always had Twizzlers. I don't know what that was about. No one should have as many Twizzlers regularly in their house as we did. When I was we a did kid. too, but it's just because my mom liked them. I think. I my mom liked them too, and. That's definitely why we had them. But it was just always on standby, an open thing of Twizzlers on the kitchen table. Dude, I, I almost never buy candy. But, like, I love when my mom comes to a rocket launch because she, like, even if we're only going to be there for four hours, she's got a whole cooler bag full of, like, crackers and cookies <laughs> and candy and Dude, soda. That, was, that, when I went to Bonneville and your family was there, it was kind of nice because it was just, like, they're like, do you want any, any of these ten different, junk foods that we brought Dude, yeah my mom just has it on lock <laughs> yeah when we used I'm to like, go to oh, the man. like fourth of july stuff like oh the yeah shows yeah it was great yeah a huge bag of candy and cookies and snacks and then a like family size order of fried chicken yeah <laughs> <laughs> we just got a costco here finally those dollar 50 hot dogs and 10 little pieces are no joke yo you're <laughs> telling the truth you know what though that taylor introduced me to sam's club we have there's one like 40 minutes from us is the city that we would like to move to and like that's gonna be a game changer the pepperoni pizza pretzel for a dollar my Dude, god so good <laughs> it was ridiculous wait were you with me when we did yeah yeah did that's when the research happened that's where that started oh yeah well the the when taylor and i had the pretzel was when you were not there and oh. then I think that was after you had come back before the 4th of July party. And uh, we went, we were getting, oh yeah, because we were getting stuff for your party. And then That's I was right, like, we got to yeah. try the pretzel. We have to try the pretzel. It, w- it was, it was amazing. Too good. It was like a dollar eighty eight. comes with marinara on the side. So you can just load her up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the dollar fifty hot dogs are a, a standby, dude. If I was homeless, I would do what I could to save as much money as possible to get a Costco membership and just go have a hot dog every day and free samples for a few hours. <laughs> That's my game you plan. Just, you can just bribe someone on the sidewalk to go in there and buy you one. I want the experience. <laughs> Are you guys going to make a Tripoli Idaho launch? I don't know. It's really hard to know for sure if they're actually going to fly. It might get windy and no one will decide to show up. Yeah. Aldi Aldi biscuit dough deep fried makes great donuts. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what? I'm liking the sound of that. Yeah. That's so crazy. Oh, you know what I made on the Super Bowl? Holy dude, they were so good. We should make some when you guys are here. Uh you get like the canned I guess they were canned biscuits, and then you use get like deli ham and cheese and you wrap it up and put it on a I think you use uh, the croissants right the Pillsbury ones that like explode open oh yeah maybe yeah it was croissants yeah yeah I think I've had that before but it is amazing yeah a whole bunch of butter and meat and cheese is hard to mess up <laughs> 
We could yeah, make. I just went. I I knew they were gonna be good. That's why I made them. But it was just like it went way crazier. But it also could have been the edible hitting. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we could uh, we could make pasta tart friendly ones too, where we take the ham and cheese away and just make croissants. <laughs> <laughs> Any plans to go to a launch of Brothers Oregon? I mean, not particularly. NXRS yeah, not is really anymore. fun, but it's also like a lot what, probably from now. here, like a twenty-hour drive at this point. Yeah. Um, no, which is I unfortunate like because 16, I love Bend, 17. and I, I like had a tradition of going into Bend and eating at Deschutes and have a fresh squeeze IPA right off the tap, dude, and a whole pizza. Yeah, that was a great time. Reese's pieces go pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> that is that's fair. Reese's pieces. I hate it when people no. say Re- Reese's pieces. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> yeah, boy Ben rocks. Yeah. I've spent a lot of time at that Best Buy buying SD cards and batteries that I forgot. Don't forget the HDMI cables. <laughs> Dude, this, I have so many. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so stupid. Deep fried candy bar egg rolls. Stick a candy bar in egg roll wrappers and deep fry it. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. That's so gratuitous. This is probably insane, though. We've been talking about candy and snacks for like 35 minutes. And I still can't decide what my favorite candy is. Maybe Nerds Gummy Clusters. Those go pretty crazy. <laughs> Oh, I do love gummy stuff. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> the Lifesaver gummies. They're so good. Dude, Those I have amazing. a whole... I think I have a whole box of them still. Lifesaver gummies? Yeah. No, I think I have a whole box of the hard ones. Oh, wow. yeah. Those suck. No, they taste good. They're just not as fun because you can't eat 50 of them at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like exactly. to just eat them by the handful. Yeah. freeze the candy bar first that's the insight we need on deep frying candy bars the link by the way oh. if anybody wants to hop in for a couple minutes to have a conversation uh, i'm gonna paste it again you got to download the app or be on a computer but uh if you want to hop in let us know your take on the best candy and chocolate or <laughs> i guess we could talk about something rocket related if you wanted to uh yeah i, I was supposed to Someone was asking about the uh, motor recommendation for the 2.6 Nike Smoke. I'm going to say it's all water taffy. <laughs> <laughs> and H 128 it's a classic. That is a classic. I'm going to put 29... an H-165 in mine because I bought one. So How much does it weigh? Is it h 97 able Yeah. I like that motor. It's going like, to be about... Oh. 28 ounces or so 30 ounces. really the only high power like blackjack or fast jack motor i have any interest in it's a it pretty awesome it's just because it was my first high power motor and i need a redemption shot because i have another ralph co crayon at my parents house and that's what my i plugged the delay well and it came in ballistic you guys finally started making and mixes propellant uh eventually I want to have you put a J motor in the lock mini mag? You're kind of asking for it. None of us have. Um, no, I built mine I with a 54 and tip to tip glass, but also undersized fins on accident. The nice so thing about the mini mag, though, is like Pat, I always put three grains in mine because it's just a really like nice altitude, but like it doesn't really go much higher past a three grain. Like the out, al- it's so draggy, the altitude like diminishing returns. 300 feet each grain so like i got matt to put an i-435 in his last year and it just absolutely exploded it not they might take the j270 no they'll take any j you think so aren't they eighth inch Mm -hmm. fins they're three sixteenths, i think dude they're so draggy i've seen a lot of mini mags on like J350s. Yeah. I've only flown mine on the H550. Great choice for the one flight. Yeah. yeah That's I'll, a good start. So if you're going to carry 
take the rail with it that's a great choice yeah <laughs> he takes the rail safely over the crowd and behind yep. everybody mm -hmm. How's that repair coming on that guy? I haven't bought the stuff to fix it. Slacking. How's the Nagy Hercules? Yeah. Not done. <laughs> All right, I'm saying it <clears throat> on the live stream that's getting deleted, so I won't have any. Nobody will have proof, but I'm going to Tripoli Vegas Spring Fest this weekend. And go camp and hang out with Joe. Uh, I'm going to fly my Nike Smoke NK555. It's going to happen. It has to. Watch. I have to go. Well, I have more. I have so many AMW motors. <laughs> yeah. That's a good how, point. Many, how many K555s do you have? Mm. A few. How many are your house? One. One. Six. What? Wait, is that counting the the ones made out of J Motors? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Or three, not counting them. I like six. Six K five fifties and a couple J two thirties more than I like three K five fifty fives is what I meant to say and nine J two thirties. It's a lot cooler to have a bunch of K five fifty fives than it is J two thirties. Jeremy Sims says I put a J five seventy five in my mini mag. All right, damn. I mean, I could not fly it so that you could see it, Postart. It does make my oh, week a lot fine. easier. We're going to have to start the little Debbie Rocket collection, the Cosmic Ground <laughs> mini Cherokee. Oh, no. Dude, I want to... Please make your mini Cherokee a Cosmic Brownie. <laughs> That'd be so awesome. Dude, so Matt... Um... <laughs> oh... I don't know. He didn't say not to tell anybody, but uh, it'll be really funny for Matt not to know yet. But there's apparently somebody, I can't remember who it was, he sent me an email asking for detailed pictures of Postart's Dr. Rocket 3840 case so that he could make a <laughs> rocket <laughs> that looks like one. Uh, that's so good. <laughs> This has become everything's a meme now. It all, Here it comes always the, was. Uh, the Oreo flavored <laughs> Oreo rocket. Been. Dude, a rocket that's a, a whole sleeve worth of Chips Ahoy or Oreos <laughs> just stacked oh. up without the wrapper. There's something there. Be a lot of painting. That's something that Sam would could do. You trying to find really the rocketry wants... crossover to the the art world? Well, she just really wants to paint a rock. She's like, "Well, is there anything special you've ever wanted?" I'm like, "No, I just make scales <laughs> of dumb kits. You and do a missiles. two color fade on every rocket. Yeah, I'm like, I'm a simple man. I don't, I don't need hand painted rockets. Like, Imagine waste... if Taylor's rocket had a little tape of fade. No, no <laughs> one's getting that. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. Um, hmm. I kind of want, I actually gave a nose cone, a five inch fiberglass nose cone to a friend of mine in high school. And she was going to do like a crazy Zentangle drawing on it. And then I never heard about it again. And then we moved away. So, so you lost a five inch nose cone. Yeah, and then I sold the rocket without a nose gun, and somebody bought it. So. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a sucky story. <laughs> it's kind of a rocket I wish I had one of now, too. It was a five-inch jart. Oh. When they first came out on that Yeah, you that do talk about Saturday. jarting all the time. Oh. That's a, uh Eddie Murphy song, Jarty All the Time. There's one people will get. 
My lunch I likes to jar. What's your guys' favorite time. candy bar? Here we go. Um I don't think Reese's counts. Yeah, it does. It's, it's in the it's a candy bar category category. No, they're cups. Adjacent. I would almost consider that candy. It's chocolate. It's, Snickers is pretty up there. Snickers is like baseline. Snickers is C tier. I think at as best. far as like I mean, I really <laughs> like a C tier, bro. <laughs> at best. At least I like... B tier. <laughs> no. No. People like throw it good... in the comments. A <laughs> caramello? Dude, those are good. Cadbury chocolate, dude. That's or a, the Hershey's be a weird Symphony for number one, though. You like that smooth texture. Yeah. <laughs> I like dove chocolate. I like my Dude, chocolate. The the same name so... Not a lot of people know about the symphony. The toffee symphony one specifically, rigged. the red label one. Because I have two. <laughs> they have two. When I uh, <laughs> when I played the cello, my orchestra teacher would give us symphony bars because it was Jesus. orchestra. Why wouldn't they make it caramello for the cello? Caramello Anthony, the basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, here's what the live stream has devolved into. Dude, I really like Kit Kats. <laughs> what? Let's go. I can't say what I want. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Okay, let's do it up. <laughs> <laughs> Twix is S tier. Twix is S tier. Okay, you're coming yes, out. Yes, it is. Swinging a little aggressively, but okay, it, it sounds is, like though. we all agree. We agree. Yeah. 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 Okay. Throw it up there. We can all agree on that. It's not offensive. Okay, let's start from the top though. 100 grand. Pretty good. I don't remember what those are. <laughs> no, dude, those are not very good. They're pretty good. What's in them? I'm saying D tier. I, I don't know if I disagree with that. On, it's it's okay. It's not F. I, C at best. What my hundred grand experience is when, uh, you know, we're. Uh, <laughs> I should text Joe. This is such a Joe moment. And tell him we're ranking candy bars right now. If he's trying <laughs> to hop in, um, yeah. Like a hundred grand is what I'm reaching for in one of those discount like bulk bags of Halloween candy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna agree C with D. All okay, right. there's no way to split it. We'll go with put, D for put now. A D, put a D. Fifth Avenue. I'm Boy, tempted to say F. F. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Three Musketeers. I like your Three Musketeers. S. It's really C. fluffy. I think it's C tier. Is it it's S not, Shane? I said S. It's just kind of boring. They're so good. I love them. what. Yeah. No. I, I'm, I'm saying low S or high A. It's just whipped nougat, right? I have no idea what it is. All I know is it's incredible. I think it's C tier. I'm, I'm going to meet in the middle. I think it's an agreeable place to put it because I'm meeting here and it kind of balances out. I'm going to put it in B. Okay. I will. I don't agree, but I will allow it. It's definitely no higher than that. Arrow. I don't think I've ever had an arrow. Is that just sounds the like... chocolate that has a bunch of air bubbles in it? Is that what those I are? think so, yeah. Those suck. That sounds like it's... something I would not like. You yeah, it's, less chocolate you're paying the, the same amount of chocolate. money. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. F, yeah. This it's is going to be a, a lane splitter, honestly. Almond Joy? F. I like an Almond Joy. But I recognize it's not it's not uh, elite. I well, will... here's the thing that a lot of people forget about: almond joys have almonds, and mounds don't. The crunch yeah. is the munch. You can't delete the live stream now. People need to see the candy bar too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna say you like either. I say I, F. again, it's like a Halloween candy bundle deal thing that I'm like, yeah, I can tolerate that. I really like them, but I see. I say C tier. 
he, he okay we'll put it a so d me, then to balance yeah. out the okay <laughs> baby ruth eh. i like mm. a baby ruth okay yeah i'd be, i'd be good with c on that yeah I, c is good i i think butterfinger is a but you know how i feel about my butterfingers i'm with you on that yeah. though I would almost say S. I would say S. Oh, okay. I won't I won't deny it. Okay, the Cadbury Dairy Milk. Which okay, they're the chocolate's really good. <laughs> the name off putting for some reason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um I'll say B. I'd say C. Okay. Uh... I was being generous. I don't I've never voluntarily bought one. I think I've got it in like a like someone gave one to me or something. Like it's fine, right. but isn't it just chocolate? Yeah, it's like smooth Cadbury chocolate. I'd, right, I'd go B. We going B or C? I would. I, think I would put C. It... I would choose a Baby Ruth over that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Caramello for me is S. It's. So I would good. say A. I'd say A. Okay. I can compromise. Charleston Chew. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit weird. Oh, I just I'm realized they have a never had category. Well, Pawstar doesn't eat anything, though, so we can't quantify his never having had it situation. Well, I know, but like, if anyone has had Arrow, should that be down there? I've had it. Yeah, I've oh, had okay. it. Charleston Chew. B. I, I think that's f i'm i'm really? saying f as well it's just not <laughs> really i like it's him. so old school and not the good kind yeah of old yeah it's just like the only people that like those have some weird like childhood attachment to it or their grandparents we bought it for them a lot yeah it's 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 a thing of the past what'd you say shane b yeah i like them. <laughs> they're good I feel like in that case we gotta go D if we're gonna average out a B and two Fs. Yeah, I'm just I, I think I'd rather that. have a Fifth Avenue than a Charleston Jew. <laughs> what about the old Clark bar? Our our boy Clark. I, I haven't had that. I don't think I, I have either. either. All right. I've never had a coffee crisp either. Yeah, that, me neither. I seeked them out one time, but it is like an overseas thing. Hershey's cookies and cream is up there. I yeah. love cookies and cream. I feel like it's it's, it's a slept a on B. candy bar. Yeah, definitely slept on. Yeah. I'm gonna say A. I'm A. I put it up in A. Yeah, Charleston chooses those... something that's sold out of a small bucket at an Ace Hardware <laughs> register. <laughs> I've been hitting some cookies and cream recently. I won't lie. They're so good. They're so good. Crunch bars. I have a hot take on these. I hate them, dude. Do you yes. remember how? It, popular crunch bars were when we were kids and now you can't find them at all they're so it's because they suck they needed to die they do kind of suck my brother really liked them i'm gonna say d tier i would say d tier as well but shane says s, s. <laughs> they're great that's chaos <laughs> dude <laughs> that's crazy i didn't know gen z even knew what a crunch bar was <laughs> Okay, I think we got to average it out around C or B then. I'm not willing to C. go B. I won't accept that. <laughs> it's, yeah, I it's would not... take it every day over a baby Ruth. But the Three Musketeers? No, I would I would probably Well, the mini ones are okay. Like in the Halloween Yeah, game. you don't want too much of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I would, a full bar is crazy though. It's too much crunch. It's far too much. Um, mm, we could go B, I guess. All right. Dove, smooth and silky and delicious. Oh, my God. That's S. It's a. It's just a cut above. Just it got an ad for boring. Pop-Tarts. Never had that boring. before. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I kind of agree. It's. I, I would go A, <laughs> Shane. I'd go A, yeah. Reese's because Fast I, Break. Kind of an I underdog. 
For I, me, I, good. for me, all Reese's like stuff is in the S tier. Yeah, but yeah, really, all Reese's stuff. Well, not yeah. all Reese's stuff, but like I, I love I'd, those. They're so fast good. breaks. I'd put A. I yeah, I'm down with that. Heath bars, great, great. B. Really, or A? I guess. I'm, I'd go. I'd say B. I'm leaning towards A, but I'll, I'll, I'll compromise it. B. Hershey's. I mean, I do love them, but I don't love them as much as I love a uh, fast break. So, just plain Hershey's, Hershey's. a C. Plain I'm Hershey's saying, a yeah. C. Really, I'd go I'm, B. Well, I'm gonna say C as well. Actually, no B, because we put Dove at A. At it's least fine. put it above the Baby Ruth, like left of it. I don't think that's really okay. We'll just go B. I think what we're discovering here is we just kind of like chocolate. Kinder Bueno. Not, I mean, it's fine. I, it's just I don't know if I've ever had cheap. that. Yeah. I would give it if as I had the guess, sole taste of this. Yeah, D or C. Yeah, I'll go D. Kit Kat. Pretty up there. S. 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 Yeah. It's a classic. It's so Any good. candy you can break into two pieces. Like, there's two <laughs> options. Left yeah. Twix, left Kit Kat. Butterfingers come with two in the package now. Yeah. Yep. Uh, crackle. They're gonna be broken garbage. into twelve pieces anyway. They already know. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't like crackle. Cra- crackle's garbage. I yeah. like what? I mean, it's, it's just a crunch, a crunch bar. Come it's on, better it's than worse. a crunch. It is worse. No, Hershey chocolate's better than Nestle chocolate. I agree, but it's still. I mean, I'm saying D. Y- no, it, you D. can't. It has to at least be equal to a crunch. It's worse. It's it not is worse. worse. It, it is, is worse. worse. <laughs> okay, put it C. Put it at C. All right. Mars bar. I have We're not in Europe, one. so I don't have that. Yeah. You know Mars is the company that owns like every candy, right? It's yeah. not a European thing. It's just hard to no. find because nobody cares anymore. But I would still put it at F. No, it is. Milky like, Way. No one. They're not popular here. No. No. They're hard to find. We could get Milky some at the, the Nifty Nut House in Wichita, dude. Milky Way Milky feels like they a. just forgot some ingredients for a good candy bar. See, that's how I think so. T- yeah, wow. I would say maybe B. It's not bad. I, would, I like it. Yeah, same as Three Musketeers. It's just plain. You have to really like yeah. nougat, right, and fair. I just don't. Mounds, I have to go in the same. I would say lower than Almond Joy because at least you have an almond. That's fun. Yeah, F. <laughs> <laughs> no, Thoughts, I think Taylor? just put a D. I think it's equal well it is a little bit worse i guess but it does <laughs> yeah, have dark chalk it does have dark chocolate that's the difference oh really yeah well, it just doesn't have an almond chocolate. i thought i thought it was the no. only thing mr good bar is dog water <laughs> <laughs> i'm ready to throw I, that in there <laughs> i like a mr good bar really i i, I call them at, mr bad I, bar i think you should put it at c i, I it's, it's like the same as crackle really Okay. Yeah, yeah, they I come guess in the variety fair. pack together. Oh, Henry. <laughs> no idea what that is. It's not great. I would put yeah, it I'm as not... maybe D. I don't know if I need to be that rude to it. Yeah, I guess D's fine. Here's the crazy. There's still take 19 me. people Payday? watching this crap. I know. I know. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining the <laughs> the weird derailed uh I don't know. Candy bar this might be list. more exciting than, than talking about rockets. Yeah. Well, listen, we can get back to it. I guess we've been going for an hour and 20 minutes. We might have to wrap it up after this. Um, How do you guys feel about payday? F. That's. I was about to say this is a weird take for me. That is an S. <laughs> what? I love... I, it's not Delicious. S for me, but... Delicious. I would say A. Shane oh, says man. F, but... F. It's just peanuts and caramel. <laughs> yeah, they don't uh, go together. They don't they go, go together, together. Great. It, it no. it's the illusion. I used to think when I was a kid that those were like healthy. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's oh, the these smart aren't choice. bad for you. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, I want a candy bar, but I want something not too bad for I me. I think we have to put it at B if Shane's going to drag B, the I'll average down. That. Uh, why I don't know why fast breaks on there twice, but we'll just yeah. Reese's is <laughs> S. 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 Reese's is S. Easy. Yeah, yeah. no question. We didn't I've that. never had a Rocky Road bar before. I haven't, I haven't either. either. Okay. Today's my Friday. Watching you guys are drinking cool. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> the Colorado Kool Aid score bar. Okay, very good. 
Not a lot of people I, know the I like difference. I score more than Heath. Me too. It's one. a different. It's a different type of toffee. Different type. One's English yeah. toffee, the other's butter toffee. Yep. And I think score is the butter one, right? Yeah, and it's good. Oh, if it's and toffee, we're in I feel a like I like put it. A. a for an America because it's butter toffee. Snickers. Okay. This is where this is divisive. They removed the vein. <laughs> they removed the vein. Oh, they, they did. Back. They brought it back. Oh, yeah. Because they got complain. so much backlash on did Twitter. Did they really? They brought it back. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the same though, is it? It is. It it is. I would say A. C. Yeah. C. Yeah. Relo. That's, that's I'm a not a huge bad fan. take. <laughs> I don't Everyone know if I can let Snickers. your C it's drag a Snickers down to Everyone a B. Everyone will eat a Snickers. It's just yeah. what it is. I'll eat it's it. Like, it's not that great. I have to I have to put it in it's A. It's a utilitarian candy bar. Like you're like, man, I need to hold hold over Snickers. Bam. <laughs> all right reese's take five ridiculous why is there pretzels in there get that out of here yeah it it Any works so five, good i don't like it, it that d i'm a. saying d or c a where are these takes <laughs> <laughs> i guess just because it's reese's we could say c because it's yeah. probably gonna make it better i don't know but it's I'm not I would even really. go B because I'm taking this over a Crackle or Mr. Goombar any day of the week. I'm not. Yep. Really? All right. We'll average it out. We'll average to blow I don't know. I guess to blow up your own. Yeah, I would never buy one. Is the thing a to blow your own payday? No, no, no. Toblerone slaps. A yeah, for I agree. sure. A. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, what you gonna call it? What you gonna call it? I think I haven't had C. it. I agree. Yeah, maybe even D. I'm not. But I'm not ever going to. Like, I think they're fine. They're better. It's better than 100 grand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. York is an F. <laughs> Dude, I like trash. York. It's a no, C. It's just mint. It's mint. It's a C. Yeah, it's trash. What do you rate it, Taylor? Uh yeah, see. Yeah. I would seriously put it down Why? there with the hating Why? as much as Charleston what's... Chew at least, but no. What? It's not what's bad? It's just mint and chocolate. It's just I'll, I'll put it to see. I'll put it to see. Zagnut bar. I've never, never had heard one. of it. Me neither. Well actually zero. I might have one and, and it was terrible. Zero never is trash. Zero. Yeah. F. That is F. F. It's on the, the tin. They Who's told you that. Yeah. No they, one. They're literally like, don't, you don't want this. Zero taste. <laughs> zero smiles. No, it has taste and it sucks. <laughs> wow. That is remarkable. Thank you guys so much for being here for this rocketry <laughs> live stream. <laughs> um, oh, but my, my headset is dying or my headphones yeah. are dying. Um, yeah. If you have one last rocketry related question, to throw our way please do because we just spent an hour talking about candy and chocolate which is <laughs> impressive it's <laughs> too stream thank you Dylan. thank you yeah. That. yeah dude we're just gonna go from from rockets to just talking about snacks every i week. might this one i almost do kind of want to leave up but i it <laughs> might be this seems like the perfect thing to like leave up for patreon people but yeah. then I feel bad about all these people that have been here that aren't in Patreon. They've been riding it out this whole time. Can I get that tier list as a wall tapestry? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so funny. I feel like we could run into a lot of legal issues with all the candy logos. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Charleston Shoes sold out a small bucket at Ace Hardware Register. So specific and true. Yeah, that's good. The great For candy the old debate. guys that shop at Ace Hardware, they're like, oh, perfect. Throw a couple of these in. <laughs> um, yeah, I could just shorten it to the tier list, but this is just a weird thing to upload specifically to the Rocket channel. I think <laughs> I think we can probably just let this one ride and leave it up. Um, yeah. It's, I mean, it's no more or no less bizarre, I guess, than the Macho Matt.exe video, <laughs> yeah. but that's at least rocketry related. I think I'm leave this the whole stream is arguably more enjoyable to the masses, though. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
if we leave the whole stream up, you know, there is some rock tree context at the beginning. And then when it starts devolving, people can be like, okay, yeah, I didn't, I'm out. But for the diehards that really want to see what we feel about candy bars. Um, yeah, I guess uh, Dude, next congratulations we'll to, to Twix the- and Butterfinger and uh, Reese's. We'll have to do that for um, the little Debbie next time. Oh yeah, uh, let's uh, let's shoot ourselves in the foot for any future support and do a Rocky Tree manufacturer tier list. <laughs> oh <laughs> god, what if we did a motor tier list? We could do that. That'd be kind of sick. That actually. would be kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Would be a lot. I mean, we'd have to figure out a way to like vet some of it because otherwise yeah. it's gonna take like five hours yeah that'd be a fun one to do as a live podcast yeah because we could have audience input and everything yeah i could probably come up with a list of motors that would make it interesting all right well you're gonna have to like we're gonna have to get pictures of each one or like maybe we can just use the thrust curve screenshots but we need something so we can tell them apart easily when we're making it but couldn't it just be the the text yeah we could yeah i guess like we could do that colored box and the designation kind of like the the aerotech uh matrix yeah. for if whatever. you you should find a a tier list creator and start building it out and then uh we'll use that we don't really have Sounds a discussion like a for next week, so we could do that. We'll next do a week. tier list every live stream. <laughs> oh, God. Well, if we do the tier oh, list on motors, podcast. yeah, I think we should do it as a live podcast. We can do that. There you go. There was a, a method to this madness in the long yeah. run. It all worked out and came rocketry full circle. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching, everybody. If you're watching this <laughs> playback of this live stream, and somehow are still here. I enjoyed it. Insane. That was fun. But it was thank a good you. Time. Uh, we will see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.